All right, today we have the HP DeskJet 4155E. We're gonna unbox it, take a look, set it up, and see how it works. All right, so let's take a look at what's in the box. All right, we have our little setup guide here. Let's then go to this little app. I'll try it out, but the previous HP printer I had, it still works great. It was a big liar. It said go to that app and it never worked. I had to get, I had to use a cord and a laptop to plug, hook it up. A little instant ink selling you nonsense. More pushing that app. It's pretty neat how it tells you. There's the plug in, there's the ink. Oh, well, we got ink here. Regular standard power cord, of course. More ink, cardboard. And here is the printer itself. Obviously. Obviously. So good packaging. This nice little Lego stuff here. The whole thing is covered in like a shrink wrap. That's pretty neat. You see that? All right, got that shrink wrap off. Not really shrink wrap, but plastic wrap. All right, up here it says simple multitasking. Little sticker action should come right off. Simple setup, simple printing. So the reason I bought this one, obviously I need a printer, but the other HP printer I have, while it was a pain to set up, once it was set up, I had never had any problems printing off it. It always just immediately worked. I currently have an old Canon printer that is basically just a scanner at this point because it's always a pain to try to get to print. More plastic wrap. So this is a little scanner, obviously. So there's this little slide out guy to catch your paper. I don't know what the difference of all this stuff is. A little drawer there. Oh, that's where you ink. Let's check out the caboose. Oh, that's where you feed the paper into, I see. There's your power port. It says no USB. Just Wi-Fi, so that's interesting. Doesn't even come with the, that's right, doesn't even come with the USB cord. So hopefully it will actually work on Wi-Fi. So there is a display on this one. My other one works printing on Wi-Fi, it just never actually, the initial connection never works. It's weird it has a hole to plug in for USB, that's what you call it, USB hole. But for some reason it doesn't actually have a USB printer cord. Yeah, I don't see one. Plug in and turn on the printer. So now let's hit the power button here. Doing something. All right, so now it has the little Wi-Fi signal. Power's flashing. Shows zero and it shows color things. So step two is to install HP software from your app. It says it's required. So let me go ahead. Let's do this. We'll go to here. 123hp.com. All right, so we're going to do install HT Smart. I'll take you to this HP Smart app on the Play Store. We're just following these directions. Open set app. All right, we're gonna accept our settings and connect to the HP services. We're gonna set up a new printer. It's Wi-Fi. All right, continuing. We're allowing. We're using location data while using the app. There you go, found it right away, I guess. All right, that's the desktop 41. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Now I gotta connect my password. So that was pretty simple. Press the flashing information button. This little eye right here. Preparing the printer now. This is a pretty easy setup though. Huh. Unable to tech to the network. Let's try it again. Let's just won't install. All right, we're gonna exit and we're gonna try again. Oh, we gotta press the flashing information button again. All right, so this is not gonna work. Let me try from a computer. Mike tried multiple attempts to connect the printer and all of those fail. Just Reddit will give him the wisdom to resolve the mystery. All right, so neither one of those options worked. I couldn't get it to work from the Wi-Fi app on the phone. I couldn't get it to work with the laptop and it didn't come to court. So I turned to Reddit and to actually Amazon. So there's two options we're gonna try. One, I'm gonna try to get it in that Wi-Fi pairing mode and then hit the WPS button on the back of my Eero router. And we'll see if that works on the bottom of my Eero router. So it's flashing, so it means it's looking for Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna press the little Wi-Fi button on the back of my router, the little WPS guy. And I'm gonna give it a couple of minutes and we'll see what happens. All right, so I solved the mystery. Not me really, but Reddit. So I have the Eero router and I had WPA3 security turn on and these shitty Wi-Fi printers apparently don't work like that. As soon as I turn the WPA off, 
it connected itself automatically. Like before I could even turn this bad boy on and it's automatically found from my app. So I'm gonna make sure the app can connect. I don't know how much that's coming through, but if you have WPA3 turned on your router, you gotta turn it off for this dumb thing to connect, which is super lame. Your stuff fix HP. So to activate HP plus, you gotta give them your information. All right, so I am going to set up the printer here on my desktop since it's already on the Wi-Fi. All right, so I'll create my account. All right, so now we're activating HP plus. This is gonna make me try to buy something. All right, there I got that pulled up. Load letter or A4 paper and adjust the guides. Fortunately, I only have one piece of paper down here, I think, but it should do the trick. I have one dusty piece of paper. So pull out the little extension. Boom. So now I need to open the door to install the ink. Remove the protective tape. Our black on the white color on the left. Pull some of that down. This is colored. That down. And there's a little icon inside there you can see, I guess. Telling you which one's which. Alright. Now we close the door. It clicked into place. We hit next. Close the ink door. I did that. Now it's checking. Ink is installed correctly. I don't need to send myself a link. I already have a stupid link. All right, I'll print this page. Just make sure it works. And printer. All right, so clearly it's not beating the paper right. So let's figure out how to get this paper in here. Yeah, we got it. Maybe. Well, it's closer. All right, sounds pretty good. We got it printed up. It only took about 12 hours, but we got this thing working. All right, and then of course you can see it tells you that's installed. If you go back here to the home, you can see a lot of stuff here. So the app's nice, I guess. Supply status, security status. I'm gonna see if there's any firmware updates. All right, so I have my pin here. That has it right there. All right, well, I hit submit. What happened? Check now. So now we can see some stuff. All right, so we are updating some shit. All right, so we our printer is updated. Let's go to network quality report. I get more details. What's it do? Let's just go to the name. No, there we go. WPA2. There we go. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is on my phone go back to WPA3 and see if that breaks the printer. So it's back on. So let's see if it stays on. Sure looks like it is. Let me turn this off. Let me go back to HP Smart. We'll see if I can see it. I did finish my setup. Tree empty or open. All right. Well, that's fine, but as long as you see it, then that's fine. All right, so that's all you gotta do, apparently, is just turn off WPA3, and then you can turn to connect it, and then you can turn it back on. So, all right, that's pretty good. All right, so I've had it set up for a little bit now, so we can see it's not currently on. I just plugged it back in, so let's hit the power button and turn it back on. It should get back on my Wi-Fi, no problem. And I would believe it did. It didn't. It just seems to be solid white light, so let's see. So obviously it works fine if I use the app. My goal now is to make sure I can print just from a phone in general. So I'm gonna go to the gallery and I'm gonna print. So I just went to my gallery and I have a screenshot I took of me completing my MBA because I'm really smart. And now I'm gonna print and we're gonna look at all printers. It does immediately show up there and I will just print it. Now I'm gonna print a color picture and we'll see how it turns out. It really wastes a lot of ink just for this demo. Seem to be printing a lot, so I am regretting this decision. I should have picked a less colorful picture. I was just uh, humble bragging about my MBA, but now I probably wasted a whole cartridge of ink. Paper's in there. This part was up, it would still pop out through here just fine. You can just put this down just for a little extra landing spot, but you don't really need to. Oh yeah, this was a big mistake. Did not plan that well. I'm gonna hit this little X button, we'll see if it cancels it. It did, okay, yeah. So it was printing. But yeah, you can tell it like wrinkled the page, so. Uh, yeah, so I mean, it looks pretty good. So there's a screenshot from my phone. So, not a great idea. Wish I had something with a tiny amount of color that didn't have sensitive information on it. All right, so now I'm just gonna use the setup guide here. We're gonna open this up, slide it in here, and let's just see what these buttons do. I don't really know what they do. I don't think the setup guide really explains, or does it? Oh yeah, okay. So that's if you want to scan. If you want to make a copy, here's the document feeder. So there's a color button and a black and white button here. 
Seems like it'd be easier just to say the word color and then black and white uh, instead of having that diagram that's not super clear. So here it says you can put it face down or face up on the document. So let's put it face up on the document feeder here. I'm gonna hit black and white and we'll see what happens. Yep, it pulled it there. There we go. So I mean, it got a little crooked because that page is not sizable and it goes up under here. All right, so that's pretty good. If you don't want to use this, you can just leave this closed because there's really no point because you can just lift it here and put it face down and then hit the color button and it should shoot the color version out here. That'll probably be better than scrolling. I don't know why they even have that. I guess if you have a bunch of documents, maybe it's easier, but I will not be doing that. All right, yeah, so that worked. Looks pretty good. I see the clarity. I mean, obviously this is nicer. This is professional printing, but I mean, it looks pretty good. Not bad at all. And then I'm gonna try to scan this on my phone. So for scanning, I believe you'll need to use the app, not any of these buttons here. I don't know what this button does, but. All right, so we'll go to my HP Smart app. It should automatically see this filler. There we are. So I'm gonna click on it. It says ready to print. I want to printer scan. So it's connecting to the services to print in it to do anything from the app you're gonna have to sign in so let me sign in so let's go right to printer scan so i'm gonna do it and see what it does it doesn't really on the screen it just shows me a black image so hopefully it works oh yeah worked pretty great there's a lot of options here i don't know what they're all meant to do full oh, there we go hit next and then if i save it i can rotate it there we go and then we'll save it yeah, I'll save it here. All right, now let's look. We'll go to my files. Yeah, so there we go. There you can see it. Uh, pretty good. I don't know why it got a little wonky there, but that seems all right. I don't know what this little page button does. Let's see. So there is like the LCD. I guess LCD screen there. So you can see the Wi-Fi and the printer icon. And then I guess the level of color and black ink. But it's not super clear to me. I would probably just use the app for all that. But here's, I guess it tells it here. A wireless signal strength, Wi-Fi direct status. I don't know what that means. Paper problem, that's a tiny little icon. Error code, number of copies. <laughs> all right, well, don't push the eye. <laughs> it just immediately prints out something for you. I mean, it is helpful, I guess, but if you do it by accident. So it gives you a service ID, the model name, the ink levels, serial number, firmware version, printer pin, a lot of information, but I would hate for that to print every time I hit the I button. So this is the resume button. So if you have a press when lit to continue a job, so maybe you've run out of ink or run out of paper, you can push that button to start the job again. The information button, push to press, I we read this line. Press to print a summary of the printer status. Wireless button indicates the wireless. Color copy, black and white copy. Again, those are not very clear icons, I don't think. All right, so I mean, it looks pretty good to me. I guess for scanning, you probably need to use the app. If you just want to do a color copy or black and white copy, it should work just fine. And then if it's on the Wi-Fi network, I should be able to print from another device. So, all right, so here's my Dell XPS 9710. Does not have the HP app. So if I type in HP, you know, nothing comes up. There's no HP app. If I go to all apps to the H section, there's even no H, it goes G to I. So like G.I. Joe, right? Nothing on there for this device. So let's go to, here's a little glimpse into how I make my videos. Here's the notes for my editor. So let's go to file and print. And I look for printers. I don't see it yet, but let me hit add printer. All right, so let's click on add device. All right, there you go. So it immediately sees it when I hit. Now, so I have to add it manually like you would an old school printer, but you know, just look to see. I've now added that printer and we'll see if we can print it. All right, so I had to connecting, it's installing stuff in the background. All right, so there it is, it's in my list. So let's go back to my Word document and it shows it here and we'll hit print. There we go. So it does seem to work fine. The other item for me to check is to see if it works with the Chromebook. All right, so here we are on my Chromebook. Let's see if we can, I don't know, printer, add printer. Oh, and it shows up right there and I can save it. We'll update that later. All right, the printer is saved. And now let's just see if I can print something. Well, let's just try another picture. All right, so now WGU again. It's a big advertisement for WGU, apparently. Print. And we're not gonna save as PDF. We're going to 
see more and we'll pick this guy and we'll print we'll see if it works i think it will this chromebook of course is on the same wi-fi i don't have the app installed there we go all right that's what fixed my problem that's why i was getting a new printer anyhow because not my hp that i have a video on but my old canon printer quit working with a chromebook and then of course you can see here there's no hp app Let's see no hp and it still works so all right this printer is going to be a winner then i have another hp printer which i'm a big fan of and this one i think i like it so based on this video what i've done so far i'm a big enough fan i'm gonna buy two more of these one for my mom and one for another part of the house a man like me can't walk all the way upstairs to a different printer come on all right thanks for checking me out